The Thanksgiving holiday is over and millions of you who chose to travel are already home. And now we wait. Health experts believe that in the next few days and weeks, we could see an even bigger surge in COVID-19 cases and deaths as many ignored their advice to stay home and not to eat in large groups. A large part of our country is already dealing with a surge. The number of confirmed COVID-19 infections surpassing the 13 million mark and hospitalizations hitting another record. We have team coverage of the latest developments. Liza Lucas with a message from the nation's top infectious disease doctor. But first, Joe Ripley live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport with more on the holiday travel. The busiest it's been since the pandemic, Joe. That's right. Since about mid-March, Sheba, good morning to you. TSA said they have tracked about 5.3 million passengers in the last week alone. We're still waiting to get those totals from yesterday. That was predicted to have been the busiest travel day over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. And so that number, 5.3 million in the last week, a third of what TSA saw last year, the same time frame, they tracked about 15 million passengers then. Hartsfield Jackson here has seen an estimated 1.1 million passengers in the last week. Sunday, again, expected to have been the busiest travel day here in Atlanta. Despite protocols here at the airport regarding mask requirements, social distancing, barriers, and sanitizing stations, officials are fearing the surge in travel could lead to another spike in COVID-19 cases. For travelers, though, it was a risk they were willing to take. My mom was going to be there, so this was kind of a really important Thanksgiving for us. It was pre-planned from last year. So this is why I decided to go ahead and travel and just take the necessary precautions. It comes as Georgia health officials are reporting an increase of about 1,000 new COVID-19 cases as part of that 14-day moving average since November 15th. Later on this afternoon, around 2 o'clock, we are expecting to hear from Governor Brian Kemp as it relates to nursing home administration guides as well as a COVID-19 vaccine distribution plan.